ladies and gentlemen who are here this afternoon. It's a pleasure to have the opportunity to address you about what I think has been a long partnership and has a partnership that has a lot more promise than perhaps some of us have addressed our minds to and have been able to foresee might be one of the new drivers of growth for the next century. This morning we've heard a lot of interesting presentations from the panelists who have spoken before. But one of the common themes that comes across is that currently the major market for most of our products, the Western world, the United States and Europe is in crisis. And they're not going to come out of that crisis soon, except very drastic measures are taken. We look forward to them coming out of the crisis. We need them to come out of the crisis because they're an important part of the global economy and we still have a lot of catching up to do. But the situation in which we find ourselves also creates opportunities for us to look elsewhere and to see what will be the new drivers of growth for our countries, for our continent, in the case of Africa, for India, and how best we can capitalize on partnerships that have existed for centuries in order to be able to propel, propel that dynamic even further. Isn't it a coincidence when you're talking about African and Indian partnerships that you have a high commissioner from Uganda who is of Indian origin. And you have Indian communities in Africa that have been established for over a century. In Ghana, a lot of major commercial enterprises are now being managed by third generation families, Indian families that have grown, have been born and have grown up in Ghana. And as a matter of fact, have forgotten to speak Hindi. So when they watch Indian movies like me, they look for the English translation because if they had to listen and, and hear for themselves, it might be a bit of a problem. And that's just to tell you how far back we go. And why do I think that it's important for us to work together in the future? As the chairman said, we are a continent with a population of a billion. But in the next 40 years, we're projected to double our population. We have 53 countries, of which at least a dozen of them have been growing at over 7% for the last 10 years. Last year, my country, Ghana, projected 13.6% GDP growth. And we also expect that over the years to come, we will continue to have double-digit growth. And we are not the only country on the African continent that can make that kind of projection. What are the challenges that we face in building this relationship? Distance, logistics infrastructure, the infrastructure that is required to be able to promote business in any economy, transport, electricity, water, communication. But the one thing that we have, and we have in abundance, are young people who are willing to work. And like you, we have invested in education, especially in Ghana, we have invested in education because we felt that it was one of the most important pathways out of poverty. And we have a situation now where we have a young, educated, articulate, very aggressive population, because that's also one of the byproducts of democracy. When young people grow up in an environment where they feel they can speak their minds and they can debate the issues and they can talk about what they want their future to look like, you can see with all the information and communication technology at our disposal at the moment that they engage in that conversation very, very aggressively. And it's good because it's that kind of aggression and drive that brings up the innovation that we need to see to develop new partnerships and to develop new businesses. 